Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to connect to the Forza servers or online services. And if you're facing any kind of connectivity issue, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, first of all, the first step is to check for any outage on Microsoft website. So you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Copy this link, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see game release known issue for October 2023. They will keep on changing the month and date over here. And over here you can see Forza Motorsport. And please go through this. If there is any kind of outage, like any kind of issue from Microsoft, then they will let you know over here. And if there is any kind of outage, then you might face the problem. So in that case, nothing to troubleshoot. But if there is no outage as such in that case, the first step is to restart your computer. So simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game and then check. Now still you're facing the problem. Next step is to make sure your Windows username does not have any kind of special character or diacritics such as these. These are just an example, few examples. So make sure that you, your username, your Windows username does not have any special character. So this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Many users were having these special characters in their username and that's why they were they were facing problem after changing the name or maybe after creating a new account, they were able to resolve the problem. So this is important. So make sure that to, to check it, you can go to this PC, open C drive, user folder over here and here you can see this is my username. So if your username has, you know, character like these, these are a few examples. It may be different. So then you might face this problem. So in that case, you can rename your Windows username. You can go to Google and search how to rename my Windows username if you can do it. If not, you can create a new Windows account as an administrator without any special character or diacritics in it. Now for this, you can open Windows settings and then go to accounts scroll down and then you can click on other users over here and let me remove this so once you create uh, once you click on accounts scroll down and then click on other users and then click on add account now if you have microsoft account you can use microsoft account if you have any other microsoft account if you don't have it you can click on i don't have this person sign in information and then click on add a user without a Microsoft account. And then you can name it whatever you want. So I will name it as test. This is just an example. You can name it whatever you want. If you want to create password, you enter the password over here and select your security questions. I'm selecting as an example, but make sure that you select your security questions and answer your security question. This is just an example. And then click on next and once this is created now click on this down arrow and then click on change account type and then select administrator from here and then click on ok now once you created this new account now you can click on the start menu and then click on the username over here current username and then this is the new account which i have created you select the new user account which you have created Click on it. It will be asking for your pin or password. So enter the password. Login. After your log, after the login, you might have to reinstall the game. If you have to reinstall the game, reinstall the game and then launch the game. And make sure that when you create a new user account, new Windows account, do not put any kind of special character. And then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to make sure Xbox app is running in online mode. So if you have the game on Xbox app, then click on the profile icon and then make sure you have it's not showing appear offline so it's online appear online you can click on appear online over here now now it's correct so click on appear online and then check now the next step is to select the right region and make sure date time time zone is correct on your computer so on the bottom right over here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically and set time automatically. Both are on over here. Then click on sync now. 
make sure that you click on sync now. If sync does not happen, you have to click on sync now multiple times. Once you have this tick, you can, and make sure that internet is connected when you click on sync. And once sync is done, go to language and region and make sure that you have the right country, your country selected over here, and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to also make sure that you log in with same account on Xbox app and with same account on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on your computer and then open Xbox app on your computer and make sure that you log in with same account. So on Microsoft Store, on the top right here, you can see profile, I can click on it, then click on sign out, then click on sign in. Select the right account which has the Game Pass or which is the correct account, whichever Microsoft account you're using. It will be asking for your PIN or password. Enter your PIN or password. Now go to Xbox app, then click on the profile icon over here, click on sign out. And then click on sign in, sign in. And over here, you have to select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. If the account is different, then click on switch account and then select the right account, then click on continue and then click on let's play and then launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to enable multiplayer in Xbox account in privacy settings. Now for this, go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. If you see the sign in option, you have to log in. Make sure that you select the right account, log in with the right account. Now, once you're logged in, click on the profile icon and then click on Xbox profile. Now, once you click on Xbox profile, click on privacy settings. Now, once you click on privacy settings, it will take you to this page. Now, over here, if you have multiple accounts over here, select the right account which you're using to play the game. Select the right account over here and under privacy, go to privacy. Over here, you can see my settings are everyone, friends, everyone, allow, friends, everyone, 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 friends, allow, everyone, everyone. And for this, collect data, voice data. For this, I, I, I block this. So if you want, you can allow it. That's totally your choice. So make sure that you make changes over here. Now, the important changes is over here. So click on Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and Windows 10 device online safety. Now, once you click on it, make sure that you select allow for everything. In my case, it's allow over here, allow, allow, especially this option, which says you can join multiplayer games. So put a check on allow, and please read and go through this, whichever option you are allowing or selecting everyone or friends you read this and if you want it you can allow it that's totally your choice but over here make sure this you can join multiplayer games is set to allow and in my case if everything is allowed over here and then you can click on submit now once you click on submit now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete xbox device key from windows credential so type in credential manager in windows search box and then click on credential manager now go to windows credentials and then scroll down and you will find this uh, two entry you might find only one of them xbl device key or xbl grts device key if you find both of them delete both of them if you find only one of them then delete one of them in my case it's xbl grts device key click on it then click on remove click on yes now close this and then make sure that you restart in there after this. And after the system restart, log in and then launch the game. Next step is to go to this location. So for this opens uh, a file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder, open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view, select show and then Put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data in windows 10 somewhere over here you will find the view option click on view and then somewhere over here you will find the hidden items box put a check on the box and you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open the package local folder now open the packages folder now over here once you open the packages folder find this microsoft xbox identity provider so scroll down Microsoft Xbox identity provider and some alphanumeric character. Open this and now open the 
KC folder. Now open this token broker folder. Over here you will find accounts and cash. Make a right click and then click on delete. Now once this is done, now restart the computer and then try to launch the game. Next step is to start all these services. Now for this, go to services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper, set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find all the Xbox services. Here you can see four Xbox services. Make a double click on each one of them and then set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now again, make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Windows Update, make a double click on Windows Update, set it to Automatic, click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Gaming Services, make sure Gaming Services are running. If not running, you can make a right click, then click on Start or Restart. If it is already running, in my case, both are already running. In that case, you can make a right click, stop it, and then again make a right click, stop it, and then restart the service. So make a right click, and then click on Start or Restart. Make a right click, then click on start or restart. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click on Microsoft Store install service and then set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now try to launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows and update Microsoft Store apps. Now for this, first of all, open store apps. On the bottom left over here, you can see library option. Click on library and then click on get updates over here. Click on get updates. Now, once all the updates are installed over here, once when you click on get updates, then you can click on update all. And once all the updates are installed, now you can restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to run this command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this command, type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click, right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator always open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now try to launch the game next step is to run now this is for windows 10 users only windows 11 users you can skip this step run these commands so type in cmd in windows set box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow copy Copy all the commands one by one. All the commands are provided in the video description. Copy it, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Copy it, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Copy it, paste it over here, hit the enter key. So run all these commands and then hit the enter key. Now once this is done, close this, now restart. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program or Windows security. So if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Now for Windows 11 users, click on privacy and security. And if then click on Windows security. Now, if you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the end, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now click on Allow an app through Controlled Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow. And then click on Add in Loud App. Browse all apps. Now go to the Game Installation folder once again. And then select the exe file over here. And this is for Steam users. Steam apps common. Now open the Game folder. Select the Game exe file. Now click on Open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top. Click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. So wherever the game is installed, you can open the game folder.
Once you open the game folder, select the game exe file, and click on open, then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So that's why I'm receiving this. It's already on in the list of exception. I already added it. So once uh, the game is added, here I can see the game is added over here. Once the game is added, click on OK. Now launch the game and then check. Next is to disable manual proxy. So if you have any kind of proxy enable, disable it. You can go to Windows settings, go to network and internet and then click on advanced network settings and in the windows 10 on the left hand side when you go to network inter internet on the left hand side at the end you will see proxy option in in windows 11 i think in windows 11 here you can see the proxy option click on proxy and then if there is any kind of manual proxy setup over here turn it off and the next step is to Run this command. Now, these commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD once again in Windows search box. Make a right click. Make sure that you always open the command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and run all these commands one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Again, copy, paste, hit the enter key. Copy, paste, hit the enter key. Now, once this is done, you have to restart the computer. The restart is important. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform network reset. Now, before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password with you. Because once uh, you perform a network reset, when you try to connect to your internet, it will be asking for your password. So make sure that you have the password. Now, to perform network reset, open Windows settings and then go to network and internet once again. And if you have Windows uh, 10, when you click on network and internet, when you scroll down, at the end you will find network reset option on the on the same page. But in Windows 11, you have to click on advanced network settings, and then you will see network reset option. Click on it. Now click on reset now, and then click on yes. Now once you click on yes, it will perform a network reset, and your Windows will restart. You when you click on yes, I'm not doing it because I don't have any problem. So after the network reset. Your system will restart. After the system restart, you can go to your network and uh, your network. You can find the network over here, and then you can connect it over here. You will see the connect option. When you click on connect, it will be asking for your password. Enter the password and then launch the game. Next step is to switch to different network. Now, if you have different network available, so in my case, I have two network over here. You can try switching to different network. If you have any other network available. And once you're connected to different network, now try to launch the game. Sometimes you can simply switch to your cell phone internet. Like you can enable the hotspot on your cell phone and then you can connect uh, the internet using the, uh, uh, you can turn on the Wi-Fi and over here you will see your mobile network over here. So you can connect to your cell phone network over here. You can use the hotspot on your cell phone and then connect to your cell phone network and then launch the game and then check sometimes it works now the next step is to use ethernet connection now if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable you can use the wired connection that will give you stable connectivity so you can switch to wired connection you can use the ethernet connection and then check now the last step is to verify the game files or update the game so if, the, if there is any update for the game you can update it or to verify the game file, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to install files, then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Similarly, if you have the game on Xbox app, make a right click on the game, select manage, go to files, and then click on verify and repair. Click on yes. And this process will take some time. And once uh, the verification is complete, once the repair is complete, you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video, should help you to fix the connectivity issue in the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.